Well, hello there. Greetings and salutations. Welcome to the Exam AZ 900 Microsoft Azure Fundamental Study Guide. This is episode 64 entitled Azure Express Route. My name is Tim Warner. What we're learning today in the Microsoft Azure Fundamentals AZ 900 Objective Domain starts in the functional group Describe Core Azure Services, passes through the objective Describe Core Resources available in Azure, and our granular skill is Describe the Benefits and Usage of ExpressRoute. As you can see on the right, I know I sound like a broken record if you've watched other videos, timw.info slash az900sg to go to the table of contents. All right, let's do this. Why am I showing you a slide of Azure Site to Site VPN when our subject under consideration today is Azure Express Route? Well, I want to set the proper context. We're looking at solving the issue of extending our on premises network, our on premises local environment, into the Azure Cloud. And there's two main ways to establish a high speed persistent, that is, always on connection to an Azure VNet or virtual network, one of which is the Site to Site VPN. As you can see here, we're using a local VPN concentrator or a VPN gateway at the edge of our network to go over the public internet and use IPsec, Internet Protocol Security, to encapsulate and protect the data frames that are going between our on-premises network and our hub or central Azure virtual network where we also have a VPN gateway that terminates the VPN endpoint on that side. At the end of the proverbial day, this situation means that you can take your virtual network-based resources and bring them to manage them locally, or just the reverse. You can manage your local resources and servers in Azure. You've effectively extended your network. The Azure Site-to-Site -Site VPN has different stock keeping units or SKUs. They range in bandwidth from 100 megabits per second all the way to 10 gigabits per second. So you could have, depending upon how fast your internet speed is, you could have LAN speed connectivity into Azure, and that's a good thing. And the fact that you've got IP IPsec encryption means that you have end-to-end -end data protection. Alternatively, Azure ExpressRoute is an always-on high-speed connection to the Microsoft Cloud Platform. In that sense, it's similar to Site-to-Site -Site VPN. The key is that ExpressRoute bypasses the public internet. There are a number of specific connectivity models that Microsoft has for ExpressRoute. We don't need to worry about them at the Azure Fundamentals level. But what you do need to remember for your AZ900 exam success is that if you get a question saying that you've got a need for high-speed connectivity from your local data center into Azure, but your security policy is that you can't use the public internet, that is your keyword language that tells you ExpressRoute is what you want to choose. The link speeds here are very similar to what you find with Azure Site to Site VPN. Actually, there's a slower speed than the lower skew for the Site to Site VPN. Express route ranges from 50 megabits per second to 10 gigabits per second. And there's also, as you would expect with Azure products, different add ons and stock keeping units. For instance, you can do a metered plan where your bandwidth is metered, or you can pay extra to do unlimited. That always makes me think of the earlier days of cell phones where you had to pay for a certain a number of SMS text messages and if you went over your allotment or the number of minutes that you've paid for each month, those were the days, right? All right, so here's a simple topology diagram. Again, I'm giving you the attribution in the slide and I'll give you some more links as I normally do. All you need to know architecturally with Azure Express Route for your AZ900 is that you're going to need to work with a service provider to make that connection with Microsoft. You may be able to work with Microsoft and then they on the back end work with a service provider, or you could work with an Express Route provider directly. Here in Nashville, Tennessee, Xfinity, also called Comcast, is our primary express route service provider. And you normally have to bring not one, but two routers to the connection in order to qualify for Microsoft's high availability service level agreements, okay? And where you host or where that cross connect happens between the edge of your network and the Microsoft edge, hopefully is gonna stay in your data center. But depending upon where you live and which express route providers are around, you may have to co-locate your routers in another data center. Again, that gets beyond where we need to be for Azure Fundamentals. 
Once you've got that express route circuit into the Microsoft Edge, note that you can do a couple different connections. The one that I'm aligning most closely with the site-to-site -site VPN is a connection into a virtual network, which unlocks all sorts of management possibilities. But notice that with ExpressRoute, you can also create point-to-point high-speed connections to individual services like Microsoft 365, as well as platform services directly like Azure SQL Database, HTTP, HD Insight, Databricks, etc. Okay. Lastly, besides the fact that ExpressRoute bypasses the internet, the other thing I want you to know about ExpressRoute is that there's no encryption on the line. You would have to implement your own encryption modalities if you have security needs to make sure that the data in transit between your Edge and Microsoft Edge is encrypted. That would be a decision factor for some businesses who might decide to go the route of site-to-site -site VPN as opposed to ExpressRoute route if they need that out-of-box end-to-end encryption. For further learning, you can check out the Azure VPN architecture at timw.info AER1. That's a reference architecture. It's part of a larger website Microsoft hosts called the Azure Architecture Center. If you have your eye focused on the Azure Solutions Architect certification, I would suggest that you dive deeply and spend a lot of time in the Azure Architecture Center. The Express Route reference architecture I'd like to share is at timw.info slash AER2, and the Express Route docs, particularly this link, goes to an introduction article is timw.info slash AER3. All right, well, that's it. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode in which we'll focus on GitHub and GitHub Actions. What I'm doing here is adding some extra lessons to my study guide to account for the November 2020 updates that Microsoft added to the objective domain. Until next time, my Twitter's at TechTrainerTim. All of my Pluralsight courses are in their library at timw.info ps. And my personal website is techtrainertim.com. Happy studying.